So what I had to specifically work at mm -hmm. was not feeling like crap when things didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. That simple. I could be a little HSP. I'm not sure. You know, they say artists tend to What's be that, help me with uh, that, highly sensitive people, people? or something okay. like that. Uh, okay. New terminology for okay. whatever, you know. This is, a new, this, is a, this is a new one every day, right? Uh -huh. yeah. but, I have a question um, mark right here. <laughs> I've always noticed, like, okay, I guess I probably am. Because I'm the type of guy, like, I'm like we're in the studio right now. I'm like, okay, this light should be, like, a little bit higher. Mm. We should probably put a little green over there because her skin, that would work well with her shirt or whatever. Like, I set, depend, I like to set the environment for what I'm doing. So like recently, I just finished an entire album for a mindfulness company, believe it or not. So I never did it. This is, this is like me wearing the composer hat. So this is like orchestral type of stuff. A lot of people don't know I do that. So um, there's a company called Russell Mindfulness Entertainment. They're based in Japan. They asked me to do this album and it's the first time I mean, I'm making, what, what is mindfulness music, dude? I'm, I'm the pop guy, you know what I mean? I'm doing J-pop, it's so out, it's so completely different. And I had to like bring myself into like this place to create that music. I did little things like I was, I remember I would be in the studio with my engineer and we got like a big movie screen in the front, like a 16 foot thing. And I would just like put imagery of like running water and stuff like that. We have like bunch of lights i would like dim the lights and put the colors in a certain way wearing that linen fit. pants <laughs> exactly <laughs> bought a bunch of acoustic instruments and stuff like that i had like the diffusers going with different aromas was just trying to find like for that whatever the song was i was working on at that moment for the for the album create the environment to make that song better i had to like I, wow. it was like that i immersed myself in it. Got it so like i remember i was doing this one tune it was like really, really earthy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I was, I, I literally was in Okinawa recording the ocean waves at the beach and stuff mm -hmm. with different sounds and just creating the organic things. And like, point I was trying yeah, to make yeah, initially no, no, so was yeah. that like, I'm sort of sensitive to vibes. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the temperature, whether it's a smell, with how you talking to me, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be like, all right, that was cool what he said, but he kind of snuck in a little, uh, I caught that, you know what I mean? And, Sometimes, you know, we try to shove it under. I got pretty thick skin, but if I'm honest, you know, these things affect us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I was having a, a conversation with a friend recently, and we were just talking about, like, she was, like, saying how sarcastic she was. And I was like, you know, it's kind of kind of derogatory sometimes. Like, if you, people who kind of boast about being that way mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. As I got older, I stopped, I kind of sh shunned away from that, mm -hmm. from making sarcastic comments, because at root is derogatory. That's part of the definition of sarcasm. Like mm -hmm. you're saying something like derogatory, you know what I mean? So like you're, it's, it's like you're, I think, conveying contempt or something like that with irony. That's the definition, something like that. So I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, like I could be funny and ironic and have the laugh without the jab, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then it's not worth bad parts that could come from the jab to have the funny joke. Mm -hmm. And as I got old, I'm just like, yo, chill. Like, I don't need to make that funny joke that's kind of a jab at you. You know what I mean? Because they meant I mean, it. I don't need it. They meant something. I, yeah, like, yeah. usually there's something. That's why it's funny. Because yeah. there's a little bit of truth to that, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Whatever they said, maybe. Or at least that's how they feel. The more of those bad vibes that I have, like, it affects how I write and my ability to, like, create and stuff like that. So, to answer, I went all the way around the world mm -hmm. to get to this point, which is simply just that I had to focus on not letting these type of things affect me mm. so when something bad happens instead of getting depressed or feeling bad and sulking in it i'm like nope all right learn from that move right along for it no matter whether it was with the black ball thing whether it was if i didn't have money at the time whatever and it what you know gigs got canceled songs got canceled tours got switched up all kinds of things happened over the years i wasn't going to get like just sulk. I'm like, mm -hmm. nope, I'm just going to move forward. I'm just going to move forward. I'm just going to move forward mm -hmm. and not let it affect me. I had to really, really work at that. So now my confidence comes from that. It comes from that track record mm -hmm. of, you know, just it working out every time. So then it's like, I should assume that it will <laughs> next time, you know? From practicing that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get that. I mean, there's a lot of memes out there <laughs> about... Which one? <laughs> I love memes. <laughs> I love memes. <laughs> I have one where you're sitting there in your room 
with, with a blanket on, thinking about that one thing somebody said at a gas station about your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it just <laughs> exactly. halts your whole life. Yeah, yeah. You know? It will, I, man. For some people, it does, though. This is a real yeah. thing, man. You know? I've been some people. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah. Oh, why did I say that? And now you're hanging on that forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm the one that said that stupid thing, but it, it wasn't. <laughs> it's not your identity, right? Like right. you're yeah. more than this this moment that yeah. happened. For so sure. For yeah, sure. that's that's a practice. Yeah, and that's sure. interesting too. Is like when you've when you've done something. Mm -hmm. How does that work? How do you practice that? And well, like. With the sarcasm thing, yeah. that was, that's a perfect example of that because I was just like, I need to stop oh, making you sarcasm. Probably went overboard. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I've seen I've Got seen it. it happen with me too. Like like Got I say, it. I'm just trying to be funny, but I'm like, yeah, your shirt is whatever, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever. It, but I, I'm like, why though? Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be mean. But when you go home tonight and you're in the car, you like. I remember I, I caught that slick thing he said. I wasn't that cool. I didn't, but you never know how these things really affect people. How they so land for I've real. I've caught yeah. that with myself. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be that guy mm -hmm. out of anymore. So I was like, I, for me, I'm not, listen, some people have fun with Sarkin. Listen, we, like we say in, in the Bronx, we cut ass, right? All the time. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's have fun. Live your life. You know, but for me, mm -hmm. I had to stop that because it, it's, it just seemed like a toxic thing. Mm -hmm.